Hello everyone, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see how to create an A agent for uh, Q&A uh, using uh, Neo4j GraphDB. So far, we have seen um, how to retrieve text data and um, uh, generate the response using AI. And we also seen how to use uh, SQL DB uh, to retrieve the selected uh, rows and generate the response. Uh, in this video, we are going to use GraphDB, which is mainly used for capturing relationship between entities and uh, attributes. So this is a different uh, uh, database and it is also commonly uh, used. So that's why I have uh, uh, taken up this uh, tutorial. So to do this, you have to install Neo4j in your uh, local machine. So first install Neo4j db you can search it in the internet and uh, uh, install this one then after that you have to like open neo4j desktop so i have it uh, with me um, before that we will just install the modules as well so here pip install lang chain Langchain Neo four J, then Langchain Open AI. So this should be enough. Okay, let me just uh, open Neo four J desktop. So this is a Neo four J desktop. I just uh, have an example project with me, and inside that I have this uh, database. You have to start the database first, so it will just uh, take some time for starting. After doing that, you just go to this plugin, click on this uh, APOC uh, plugin, and install it. So I have already installed it. Uh, if you don't install it, means uh, you will face some uh, error. So make sure to install it. Then uh, once the DB is uh, started, we can populate the database. So this is the uh, database I'm going to use. And uh, let me just go to the code and we have to set some environment variables as well. So if you open this uh, Neo4j browser, uh, you can set uh, the username and password. Currently it will just log it as uh, Neo4j. So if you just open the browser, so this is the browser. If you want to change the password, you have to type alter user username neo4j set password and the password uh, you want. So I have it as like neo4j pass and you can see you uh, connected as neo4j user. If you are using a different user, uh, just change it accordingly. So this is the username and password uh, which I set in my uh, local machine. So you can just uh, set it. Okay. Let me just go to the code cell. I'll just uh, paste this one. And uh, <coughs> this is for like uh, setting the password set neo4j password then after that install apoc plugin okay so once all the uh, setup has done uh, you can just uh, you use the uh, lang chain to populate the database currently uh, it's no it doesn't have like any data if you already have the data means you you can skip this step so first i will import modules from langchain neo4j import neo4j graph from I think here itself I can use graph cipher QA chain and from lang chain open AI import chat open AI okay so these are the modules which we need then set environment variables you can also set it in the system environment variable if you didn't set it means so you can set it in the cell so os dot environ of 
न्यू फोर जे सॉरी फोर जे यू आर आई दिस इज यू आर आई equals uh, you already seen the link in the web browser right you have to use the same link here so local host 7687 okay now os dot environ off new 4j username and you have to do the same for neo 4j password so again if you have a different password just set it accordingly neo 4j neo 4j pass this is wha what i have set it this is your new password okay once this is done just run this then we will uh, populate the db as well so create the graph db so graph equals neo 4j graph then create the query pokemon query so i'm going to use uh, pokemon uh, csv here it just have the pokemon names uh, and the attributes along with the pokemon type so type will be the relationship here the pokemon will be the main entity and their attributes will be the hp hit points uh, the defense uh, and other attributes uh, which is present in the csv so uh, i'm not going to type everything so i'll just uh, uh, paste the content here so this is the full uh, query so what it does is uh, it just loads the uh, pokemon csv from this github i will also put this in the cell here you can download that as well to check it so from that uh, i just uh, creating this uh, entity p is uh, pokemon and uh, name will be row dot name and uh, it is setting all these uh, attributes hp attack defense and uh, other things and then it's uh, creating a, a type it has like two types uh, let's say the base type can be like a nature type fire water grass etc and the secondary type will be like um, uh other types like uh, <coughs> uh what you say flying or uh, uh it can swim uh etc so there are like uh, different types uh that you can infer so this is type 1 so then we are creating a relationship pokemon as a type of type 1 then we are iterating through these types for type 2 if type 2 is null we can just uh, have it as uh, empty list otherwise uh we will assign the type 2 then end and uh, we are just having we are just adding the additional uh, type as a relation so pokemon also have the type t2 so this is the whole query and uh, execute execute the query graph dot query pokemon query let's run this okay it has run successfully and it will just return this uh, empty uh, list as a result then graph dot refresh schema then print graph dot schema just to see the information now you can see the node properties pokemon and type is created both are uh, separate nodes and uh, in the pokemon it has name hp attack defense speed generation uh, etc and uh, you can see the um, type as a string and relationship property pokemon has type of type so as i said right uh, 
uh, we have like two types but both can have a same property right so that's why we just have a single node of type okay that is done if you want to see the enhanced graph enhanced graph equals neo4j of enhanced sorry enhanced schema equals true then print enhanced graph dot schema run this now you can see everything is uh, uh, populated with the integer and uh, other things okay now uh, let's create the uh, uh, graph QA chain create the graph QA chain so we have to initialize LLM initialize LLM LLM equals chat open AI of model equals GPT 4o mini then I don't think other things are needed what we can call graph chain equals graph cipher QA chain of graph equals enhanced graph LLM equals LLM verbose equals true allow dangerous equals equals true again uh, you can add more parameters uh, if you like and then we will have we can uh, invoke the query so let's just initialize this okay something has happened so this should be from LLM run this okay now this is done and uh, this is initialize graph chain and I will have the sample usage here so query will be give me three flying Pokemons which is the type right so Pokemon okay so this is the query I will say response equals graph chain dot invoke of query equals query and then we can print the response so it's creating a new graph chain and uh, it just creates the cipher query which name as like uh, flying and uh, it goes got these uh, three result Charizard, Butterfree and Pidgey from the collection we have and it returned the result so this is the result which we need Charizard, Butterfree and Pidgey are all flying Pokemon so this is how it uh, generates the results based on the graph query result it uses this context and uh, uh, generates the natural language result let me try with like adding an attribute get a highest HP Pokemon of fire type so this involves a attribute and fire type okay let's run this so it created the query and uh, we have only uh, anti which have that uh, highest uh, HP and uh, you can see the highest highest HP Pokemon of the fire type is anti with a HP of 115 if you don't uh, give the limit means it it will get all the Pokemon's which have the highest uh, HP like a uh, top three but uh, we just ask for like get the highest HP so by default it's like a single uh, Pokemon result which you are expecting so 
that's pretty much it guys so this is how a simple relationship db querying would look like so you can try with uh, any other uh, database graph db uh, which you have for testing i think by default they have a movies uh, db database you can also query that you just have to like uh, follow the same steps uh, once the uh, graph is connected you can just uh, initialize the llm and uh, uh, pass the query uh, because in the sample db it does have all the information that is needed so you can just completely uh, skip this step and um, just directly uh, connect to the graph uh, like here so if the data database is already updated means you can just uh, directly uh, use this and uh, get this uh, schema information and uh, proceed further so other than this, uh, if you have like any queries regarding this video, please leave a comment below. I will uh, definitely assist you. Other than that, if you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And see you guys in the next video.